Good morning, folks. You are watching a NASA release at 8x speed showing oceanic salinity. Some contrasts are easily understood, like the Amazon freshwater delta or what's happening in the North Atlantic. The separation south of India is a bit more mysterious, however. The accompanying article is solid. This story contrasts a macro warming trend with isolated areas of long term cooling within the US. This, taken two days ago by Cassini, is our newest shot of the Saturn North Pole hexagon. Three buoys in event mode near Alaska, the same broken one we've identified, and two functioning buoys, but showing only about an inch of deviation each. On the Gaza Strip, dozens of huge rays beached and died before scientists could perform tests, however, locals wheeled them off to market for sale. Yikes. There's a minor oil spill in Port Sulphur, Louisiana. Got some red tide in Florida. Same goes for Southwest Australia. Tropical Cyclone Rusty. These are his final moments, a parting gift perhaps, however, as New Zealand farmers are desperately wanting this rain to come east. Europe, keep in mind the big blue low in the Atlantic, but right now the high set over you has conditions somewhat more mild than your extreme stretch last year. Enjoy it before the North Atlantic storm arrives. Storm continues in the US, big counterclockwise low being aided by a clockwise motion high to the west, forcing southward at the convergence in the middle and set to bring freezing temperatures way, way south. The bulk is moving up into Canada now, hopefully without the collapsed roofs, power outages, and auto accidents. For those on the western half of the continent, the big North Pacific low is still stuck in park, still creating baby arc conditions, but luckily offshore enough that the rain makes landfall in brief waves. Yesterday part of the umbral field disappeared, but the central sunspot kept blocking the coronal holes. This is definitely in the waning process as the openings are becoming more earth directed larger fields still open, and finally the quake watch sees an uptick we can actually count, a six pointer in Vanuatu. The second quake of this watch that would count under any uptick scale except the six magnitude one I have chosen, took the form of a rare five pointer off the coast of Oregon. Sunspots, central grouping is large, but I disagree with NOAA's gamma label, I see little magnetic complexity at all. I firmly disagree with NOAA's alpha label for the new sunspot group swinging in. It was midday yesterday and you could already tell these were beasts. Let's see what the earth facing environment has in store for them. Coronal holes now becoming geo effective, more headed in on the south. As you watch in 193 angstroms, we are still expecting to be impacted with a strong solar wind stream from these holes beyond just facing their magnetic field opening. Could have all quake factors present at one time for the second half of this watch. I'm going to leave you with NASA's newest Vela Pulsar data visualization, followed by Soho Gong and SDO. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.